Hello everybody, happy holidays, and welcome back to my channel. I am bringing you an edit tutorial on how I do my eye edits, basically the edits that you see in almost all of my thumbnails. So I got this really cute photo online, and I don't know who the photographer is, but whoever they are, they are very talented. So to start, we are going to take the eraser tool and start hollowing out the eyes. Basically, we're just going to erase the inside of the eyes and make sure there's nothing inside. Most people draw the eye edits on top of the eyes, which I mean, I guess that's up to you, but I personally find it way more effective and way more easy to do it underneath the eye. I'm using Fire Alpaca to make my edit. You can use whatever you want. I suggest something that can change the layer type, like add, multiply, divide layers, and something that even has layers. I wouldn't try to doing this with MS Paint or, I don't know. You could use Media Bang Paint or Abyss Paint X if you have a mobile device, or Fire Alpaca if you have a PC or Mac. So now that we've erased the eyes, we are going to take a dark color, because as you know, LPS usually have two colors in their eyes, one dark, one light. We're going to take the darker color, and we are going to color in a circle in the eye. Don't mind that, that was just a little notification. So as you can see, I'm changing my brush and getting ready to color in the eyes, which we are going to do right now. Okay, let's get this added in. I realized after Neath, not after Neath, oh my gosh, I can't speak, I am so sorry. I realized after this that I didn't completely erase the eye, so I went back and did that. So now we're going to add another layer and fill in with a lighter color because, like I said, LPS have two colors in their eyes. So that's basically what I'm doing right now. Um, yeah, I should be starting that any moment. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this is a voiceover, so I'm kind of just recording as the video goes. So as you see, as you see, I've finished that. Now we're going to open up another layer. Like I said, layers are very important. We want our brush to be switched to an airbrush. Airbrush is pretty important. We're going to take a darker color and fill it in around the eyes. Make sure the color is slightly darker than the first color you used. Then if you have the option, I would take an airbrush eraser like I'm doing right now and hollow out the middle. I would also use any eraser just to remove the area underneath in the whites of the eyes because we don't need that. Now you are going to take the blur tool or if you don't have a or if you have the option to filter things, the Gaussian Blur filter, and you just want to blur it out. This is kind of like shading. Just And then I went back and neatened it up a little bit, blurred it out again, and I think it looks pretty good. So next we are going to change the brush color to completely black. Make sure you change out of your blur tool back to your pen tool. And basically what I'm doing, I am just drawing in the pupils, and I think this edit looks pretty good already. Like. Also, a step I forgot to add, um, you have to go back and add white underneath the color of the eyes. I almost left that completely transparent because I'm really silly sometimes. Now another layer. Okay, yeah, we are going to change this layer to the add layer. It's really important that you have different layer types. Add, multiply, divide, like, you know, subtract. I don't know if subtract is one, but we're going to go to add. And basically, add just makes things glow. If you add a color with add, it's going to look like it's glowing. So we are going to take a blue color, well, or the color of any of your LPS's eyes, and we are going to add it on the color of the eyes. And that's going to make it look like that's going to make it look like it's glowing. Now we're going to take the blur tool and blur it out, and that looks really pretty. It makes it look so much better. I'm going to do another layer in the add tool and add blue to the eyes, or like I said, whatever color, in a little blob shape, and you're going to want to blur that out again. And that just adds a cute little tint to the eyes. I think it looks good, which is why I usually do it. Now, for the next step, we are going to open a layer again and change your brush to completely white, and we're just going to do the highlights. So I usually do two big dots in the top, a dot um, on the border between the color and the pupil. And if I'm feeling a little extra, which I usually do, I do an extra dot by the big dot. As you can see, that looks pretty good. So now this is our final step, and this final step is optional. You're going to take a color that's darker than the color of the eyes, use the airbrush tool, and airbrush around it. This is basically a technique of shading. I don't always shade. Actually, I don't usually shade, but if you want to shade, you can do this. 
If you don't want to shade, um, thanks for watching. You can go now. I'm sorry that you had to ordeal five minutes of my rambling and editing. But if you feel like you're going to want to know how to shade, just keep watching. That's up to you. So what I'm doing here, I'm using the airbrush, airbrushing around it, and using the eraser tool to clean up the edges. I just find this pretty effective. You don't want to make the layer of darkness too thick or else it's going to look really weird. Like, shading usually, it, it has to look natural. You don't want it to look really weird or anything. So basically for the next couple of seconds or minutes or I don't know, I'm just going to be cleaning up the eyes and shading them and whatnot, you know. It's just really important that you clean up the edges, that you shade it well, or else it's going to look really weird. I see lots of edits in which the eyes have like really dark, like really dark black pools around them, and that doesn't really look like shading. It looks kind of weird. So you have to make sure that you don't put too much shading or else it's going to look kind of off. Well, as you can see, I'm almost done. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it was very helpful. Um, hopefully if anybody out there wants to know how to edit, you guys find this video really helpful. Um, thanks for watching, goodbye, and happy holidays. See you next time. Subscribe if you want more. Bye.